what's up in jewels welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well if it's your first time welcome on board my name is liz and i am a flight attendant don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on instagram as well today's video has been super duper highly requested by you guys and as you know you ask and obey so here we are i'm going to show you what's in my bag as a cabin crew and i'm going to tell you so much tips and tricks for you guys basically i'm going to tell you the whole tea so if this is something that you want to see make sure you watch the video till the end also as you can see i'm currently in a hotel room i'm currently on the layover i'm filming from houston texas what's up so this is just to tell you that this is not a lie everything that you're about to see in this video i really packed it with me it's true it's not a lie it's really with me okay don't forget as well to check the description box because everything will be listed in the description box okay let's go So number one tip that I have for you guys when packing, make yourself a reminder list. What do I mean by that? You will be surprised how easy it is to leave things behind, to even forget things at home. Because when you think about it, your cabin crew, right? So you travel every single day. So every single day you're in a different place, a different country, a different hotel room. You're going to forget things behind and it's absolutely normal. It's okay. It's actually okay. It happens every single day. If you ever forget something in a hotel room, don't panic. You will get it back. Trust me. But I got something for you. Every time before leaving my house to report for a duty and every time before leaving the hotel room for the flight home, this is what I always check. I've made myself a checklist and this is basically every single item that i make sure i have with me everything like everything that's on this list must be in my bag before i leave basically so first of all let's talk about the equipment as a cabin crew you're gonna need some good sustainable equipment and bags okay number one the handbag the airline will only provide a handbag for you this is provided it's yours the rest is at your own cost so personally now comment below if you're the same as me but personally i like to be free i don't like to be carrying 10 bags with me on a trip i, don't, I just don't like it so personally since the day i find out that actually the handbag is not mandatory to carry i stopped carrying the bag with me but that's just me because why am i carrying three bags on a three-day trip now number two the topper so instead i got this topper this is my topper bag this is how it looks like it's super big and it carries so much things this bag right here baby when i tell you this bag is a life saver this bag honestly changed the whole game for me so this is how the topper bag looks like when it's empty honestly this bag is the best investment ever it's so big it can literally take anything this is how it looks like it's really 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 deep there's a pocket as well over there you can put some stuff and then as i said to you there's also a pocket on the inside here to put more stuff for you so let's go and see what's inside so the first thing that you see in my bag basically when you open it is my liquid bag this bag another lifesaver baby this is a lifesaver this bag is from amazon it's actually it comes in a pack of two so you get two bags i use one for my liquid bag and my second one is for my toiletry bag look at the size of this please it's so big it's literally see-through it's so big and it takes everything because that little plastic bag that the airport will give you what can a woman possibly pack in this little tiny bag especially if you're a woman you know what i'm talking about if you are a woman you know exactly what i'm talking about we there's nothing we can pack in these little tiny plastic bags this bag from amazon will save your life and it is actually tsa approved this is how i get through security even as a passenger two weeks ago i traveled to new york as a passenger 
and this was my bag and i didn't have any problem through security i didn't get stopped or anything please do yourself a favor get this bag so this is actually my liquid bag there's a zip and literally it can take so much liquids for you so basically i have some sunscreen because no matter your skin color you should always use sunscreen to protect your skin don't argue with me <laughs> i've got my setting spray from morphe this is actually new to me and i absolutely love it it will just hold your makeup and everything like oh love it and this spray right here this is actually from revolution it's an illuminating fixing spray every time we come back from break because obviously there is bunks on board and when you come back from break usually your face looks dry and everything i always spray this on my face after coming back from break i just spray and i just feel refreshed honestly i feel like i'm coming back to life this spray is such a life changer so this is my bag when it's empty next item in my bag is my macbook pro my laptop i usually don't take my laptop with me i usually leave it at home unless if i know i'll be doing some editings on trips because sometimes i do edit video this is how much i love you guys instead of resting i still edit videos sometimes on trip so sometimes i take my laptop to edit or if i know i'm going to a destination where it's going to be chilled i'm just going to stay in the hotel room and everything to watch netflix and youtube videos videos then definitely i get my laptop with me my macbook pro next in my bag some tights these are the tights that i use they're actually from paris i bought them in paris they're from zeman and they are and they're actually nude so as a woman of color i know how frustrating it could be to find the exact skin tone when it comes to tight you know it's proper brown this is the shade brown it's nude on my skin and it's honestly the best tight ever so i always have always 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 have guys an extra pair of this is for my ladies obviously for my ladies obviously always get an extra pair of tights in your bag in case you ripped or anything you know you have a backup in your bag straight away what else do we have in my bag oh my god hot water bottle let me tell you something when you go on break yeah and you go in those bunks and you have like two hour break three hour break those bunks are cold they are cold so just in case if you feel cold i got you i got you always have in your bag a hot water bottle honestly it will keep you warm in those bunks and you will just sleep like a baby trust me so this is always in my topper everything that's in my topper basically is if i need to take something during the flight usually it will always be in my topper so i don't have to open back and forth my carry-on bag you know what i'm saying the next thing in my bag is actually this cutie bag from target this is where i keep my heels and my flat shoes so right now i've got my heels on it these are my heels they have lasted me since basically since i've been cabin crew literally so basically let me explain to you when you walk through the terminal when you get on board and during boarding you wear your heels as soon as boarding is complete then you will change to your flat shoes before takeoff you must wear flat shoes in case of an evacuation so from takeoff now you have your flat shoes for the whole flight you have your flat shoes for landing you have your flat shoes and before disembarking you go back and wear your heels so this is my bag where i keep my heels and my flat and then next we have my uniform basically nicely folded so this is my cardigan and my waistcoat for the service that i'm gonna leave here my socks to go on break and then we have a jumper i always keep a jumper in my bag because again when it's time to go on break usually especially if the flight is long i always get a jumper i always have it in my bag in case i feel cold I always get a jumper in your bag what next is in my bag my charger obviously because you ain't going far if you don't have your charger with you next one i got my power bank my little power bank this baby i think this one is from primark you know it has lasted me for years this baby has saved my life so many times especially when i vlog 
this baby this power bank will save my life and then okay the next item is actually such a personal item to me but i'm still going to show you guys because you guys are my angels this is my hand cross that i always 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 carry with me anywhere i go even if i have to go down the road to buy some water or to go to tesco i will still have this on me like this is such this is my baby like i'm so obsessed with this cross i love this cross and this cross is literally always always on me literally i always 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 have some painkillers in my bag you just don't want to end up in a destination being sick and you don't have any medication at hand so i, I always carry some painkillers in my bag just in case you know this is my padlock when obviously you're gonna have to check in a bike or even if you're leaving the hotel room to go outside personally i do not trust i don't trust anyone but <laughs> i don't trust anyone i don't trust hotel staff anyways you should always anyway lock your bike the second tip that i have for you is to set up another bank account as crew traveling every single day different currencies you cannot expect to be charged using the same card that you have at home if you are with barclays Santander, natwest hsbc and everything don't worry about those cards leave them at home and have a specific card to use when you are on trips the bank that i highly recommend you to join is monzo and the card actually looks like this let me show you guys like that let me put it like that the card is from monzo and looks like this it's a monzo card and it will save your life there is no fees absolutely no fee we got no matter the country you're in you can use this card you can use your card at home you can use your card in south africa in brazil in new york in india you'll be fine there is no fee and this is basically the card you can even use revolut if you want to but to be honest i use monzo i feel like it's more reliable and it's just there's just more benefits using monzo so make sure if your crew or if you are about to start flying make sure you get a monzo account another thing as well that's in my bag is my crew device so as i've told you in many different videos the company will give you your phone it's your work phone and it's actually an iphone it's a i think it's an iphone xr if i'm correct and so basically through this phone you have access to so many things you have access to the passenger list of your flight the flight you are operating only and when it will be time today to go back to london i will use my phone and put today's date and put um the flight number and the system will find will load and give me the whole passenger list for today's flight this is how we are able to do all those things so definitely crew device is always in my topper we call it a crew device and obviously the number one item that should always be in your bag when you travel is your passport because how far do you think you're going if you haven't got your passport with you please where are you going without your passport so my passport I use my French passport because I am French. Another thing that you need to know guys, as crew, there are three items that you need that must be in your bag at all times and when reporting for a duty. So number one, the passport, your yellow fever certificate. If you haven't got your yellow fever certificate on you when you travel, you ain't going far. Trust me on that, you ain't going far. So these are mostly they go together and the third item that i can't really really show you for security reasons but i'm still gonna cover it is obviously your id pass for work your badge everything you need basically those three those three items you need them together like you these are the first things that when you report for a duty your manager will ask you do you have those three items with you if you haven't got one of those baby <laughs> I just don't know for you so this was everything that was in my top bag as you can see it can really take pretty much a lot of things third part the hand baggage my hand baggage comes from Hassel Fraser I've never had any issue with this case I've been using it for years never been damaged or anything now this is another tip for you guys third tip for you guys my case is a soft case and I feel like when you use a soft case you have way more space than a hard case but this is the tip for you guys if you use the hand baggage 
whether it's a soft case or a hard case that's your choice however when it comes to checked luggage i highly 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 recommend you to use a hard case only because if your case get damaged at any point you will be covered you will be compensated you will get a replacement case if your case is soft and it gets damaged or the wheels get broken or any i'm not even gonna be like i don't even think you're covered this is at your own risk honestly so please tip for you if you buy a check-in bag definitely hard case cabin bag honestly it's up to you but me personally i use a soft one personally so guys this is how my case looks from the inside when it's empty the reason why i like this case is because it's really really spacious and the depth of it is really deep i don't know if you can see it but when you look inside basically you will find two stripes over here and then two stripes over there um to secure your items and preventing them from moving let me show you as well on this side you will find pockets as well there's a little bit of space but we move there's a left pocket in it and there's a left pocket here as well there's more space over here and then when you close the case you will find another pocket here can you see that it's really deep and you will find as well another pocket here as well honestly i really like it also there's basically two zips which gives you more space as well honestly this case will give you all the space that you need let's unpack my bag together so this is everything that's in my bag number one that you find in, in my bag is actually my makeup case to beat that face baby <laughs> to beat that face this is my makeup case next one that you find in my case actually is <laughs> this is so funny to me this is actually my filming equipment and this is how you know that it's not a lie because i really have it with me i'm going to show you with you guys so this is when i vlog or when i film videos like this one i carry my ring light my portable ring light that i have to plug it has like a usb um plug-in and there's different there's a button up here to have like different lighting and everything so we got my ring light with more equipment my my little tripod we have okay my toiletry bag as i was saying to you guys earlier the first one was the liquid bag and this is the second one where i put basically my toothbrush my deodorant i highly recommend you to use a deodorant that is not really a liquid so you can save space for you that's another tip and trick for you next that we have my hair straightener because baby when you see that hair can we can we can we can we look at this hair please baby can we look at it please <laughs> this is the magic this is where all the magic comes from so this is my hair straightener you can get it from amazon i got it in the color gold it's the demolis scent i honestly this baby will straighten your hair to perfection this baby lifesaver honestly and it has as well a little bag and they provide as well a little bottle it's so good honestly the next one that you find in my bag is actually the charger for my macbook pro oh yeah i've got my my selfie stick okay basically my selfie stick is once again if i'm vlogging definitely especially if i'm vlogging this is what i will be using my selfie stick definitely in my bag as well i've got some snacks with me <laughs> because when it's 3 a.m and you're hungry trust me those little snacks will save you definitely always pack some snacks especially if you're traveling to a country that has a high time difference you know this is for my tripod because obviously i'm currently filming for you guys but this is where basically i pack my tripod i got my tripod from amazon i will link it in the description box i've got my robe that i always pack because you know if i want to feel like a cutie <laughs> oh yeah second shirt don't forget guys that's obviously that's a bit common sense but don't forget that you need a second shirt to operate the flight home so don't forget to pack a second shirt you know it may be common sense but you might as well forget it i've got this in my bag actually so this let me explain this um my hairstylist shout out to her my hairstylist gave it to me it's a little it's a little bag with a hanger basically okay this is for my black woman <laughs> 
this is from a black woman basically this is where i lay my hair so you know like this hair i do not wear this hair on board because it's so pretty i just don't want it like to be in a bun and all folded around so what i do is if i want to pack a different hair you know what i'm saying i lay my hair inside this bag there's a there's a zip to protect it and you can lay your hair inside there's a clip inside and i just clip the wig basically and it just stays i can leave it flat in my bag or i can fold it into two and basically the wig will just be laid inside so when it's time for me to wear it i don't have that much stuff to do i will still use my straightener but the hair will still be straight you know what i'm saying it wouldn't be you know like there's big work to do there's no big work to do because this protect basically my wigs basically so i always pack this with me on trips and i lay my wigs in this little bag shout out to my hairstylist marina for for giving me this and then in my bag we have this extension cord but what i do little trick for you is i always pack basically my extension cord from home which has the uk obviously plugs so all i need i'll be using my I use my my adapter yes you could be buying an extension you know like a universal plug because to me personally a universal plug is not even enough when I have the straightener I have the charger I have the MacBook Pro if I'm filming a video I got the ring light that I need to plug as well so you know I always use I always bring with me my extension cords it just helps me it's long it's it does the job so that's in my bag on the side of my bag in the little pockets now onto the little pockets now i have okay this is something for my ladies as well but i do have some you know hygienic pads and everything because baby if you're a woman you know if you know you know it can come anytime okay mother nature sometimes can surprise us so you know you don't want to end up in a destination and you haven't got anything with you so i always 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 pack some pads or anything like you know just in case you know just in case in case i get surprised then actually i'm not surprised because i'm ready you should stay ready so you don't have to get ready you know what i'm saying period or even if a crew member needs some i got her you know what i'm saying i got you i, I got you i always got stuff in my bag so i always keep my pads i go ooh, my underwear <laughs> you don't want to see that i'm not showing you that <laughs> i'm not showing you my underwear i got some underwear here and then in the little pocket right here i have this little usb electric plugs from the us that I always live in my bag because most of the time i'm in the us anyway i've always 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 have in my bag tablets for allergic reaction because baby your girl is highly highly allergic to insect bites and since that day i got beaten in the maldives so badly since that day i said never again another tip for you guys when packing why would you unpack and pack again everything every two three days why would you go home unpack everything and then two days later pack again everything let me save your life and let me save you some time buy all the essentials double what i mean by that is buy a second toothbrush toothpaste deodorant pj makeup wipes any essential that can stay in your bag buy it so you don't have to unpack and pack everything trust me that i don't unpack everything all the essentials always 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 stay in my bag lotion mouthwash sunscreen whatever buy everything don't, even your pj have your pj for home and have your pj for trips and obviously wash it accordingly you know what i'm saying but have a pj for home and have your pj for when you go on trips trust me this will save so much time and this will honestly change your life and yeah that's it so that's everything that's in my bag this is how everything looks when it's full and ready to go i'm just gonna read my list for you guys so my watch so don't forget my watch my charger my heels and flat shoes power bank snacks my cross my ipad passport yellow fever id pass waistcoat um, spare tights crew device 
adapter, um, toothbrush, PJ, makeup bag, makeup wipes, padlock, selfie stick, the mic. I'm gonna show you my mic right now. Actually, let me show you to you. Toothpaste, Dio, brush. Oh yeah, where's my br oh yeah, my brush is here. Um, sleepers, underwear, tripod, extension cord. Oh yeah, my Bluetooth remote. Oh my god, yes, guys, this is something that I always pack for some reason. I can't see it in my bag. I don't know where my remote is, but basically I always have in my bag a Bluetooth remote because baby, you cannot always rely on crew to take your pictures for the gram. Let's be honest. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You got to take your own pictures yourself. So always make sure you have a tripod, even like a mini tripod and a Bluetooth remote to take your own pictures. One time I was in the Maldives by myself and there was nobody, not a single soul to take my pictures. So you really think I'm going to go to the Maldives and come back to London without taking the pictures of me in the Maldives. You must be kidding. What I did, thank God I had my equipment with me. I took my own pictures, baby. I don't rely on nobody else. I took my own pictures. So yes, guys, this was everything that was in my bag. I really hope you have appreciated the video. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to support your girl. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share the video with whoever may need it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.